This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, Chris Rinaldi writes, can you find a creative way to ask Aaron to discuss his mastery of the DDT? And if permission had to be asked or granted for other wrestlers to adopt the so-called patented moves across promotions, I always loved how Arn would nail the DDT on a run in. Of course, last week we actually saw you do it in a watch along and you talked about how you would snap it instead of just sort of ease into it. Are there any other little tips about the DDT? And what's protocol in that era when you're using a guy's sort of patented move? If it's his trademark move, uh, how's that supposed to be approached from uh, a traditional sense? Well, you should probably back up and uh, and realize that I stole it from Jake, which we all steal from each other. I just tried to do it differently. Um, Jake's was more of a pull them in, pause, wait a second, stick them. I tried to explode into my version of it. And it was, you know, if you look at it, um, the way I looked at it, I wasn't stealing just an out and out theft. I was actually paying homage to something that I saw that looked like a kill shot. And I was just going to try to put my little twist on it to make it look like an even more sudden out of nowhere kill shot. Uh, but, uh, it wasn't my move. I did steal it. I never claimed to not steal it. And I was glad that Jake came up with it because it served me well throughout my career. Absolutely. And I think, um, everybody can see the difference between yours and his and two totally different styles, but either way, it could have been uh, easily your finisher that in the uh, spine buster, probably your two biggest signature moves. Wouldn't you agree? I would say so, yeah. And there's some fans out there of a gourd buster, which I used uh, sporadically and a little bit at the first of my career. I just saw that uh, some people weren't very comfortable with it. They didn't feel like it was safe. It was safe, or I wouldn't have done it to anybody if I thought that it wasn't going to be safe. Uh, but those are the three big moves that I, that I had. I didn't have a whole, whole bunch of offense. I just tried to do a few things. Well, Rick Hughes, 88 writes in. we see several DDTs and super kicks per match these days where once upon a time, these moves were only used to end a match. How does Arn feel about these moves now becoming more transitional moves? I hate it. First time I saw Chris Adams on the Dallas uh, television show, uh, the Von Ericks. First time I saw him do a, a super kick, I went, Jesus Christ, if that was me and they could get me awake, I'm going to be in a hell of a fight with that guy. Cause he just kicked his head off. I mean, it brought me out of my chair and it was a excellent finish. Uh, I think it's one of the moves that is the, probably the, the most abused move in wrestling today is a super kick. Yeah. And I think guys are going to be, they're probably going to be pissed at themselves a couple years, three years down the road when all of a sudden a super kick is no more than a clothesline because they took a kill shot that can get any smaller guy back even on a bigger guy. If it's done right and put in the right spot, it is a tremendous get me back even move. And you don't have a lot of those left anymore. I mean, there's only so many things you can do in this business. You can't continue to create stuff. There's only so many things that are out there that are physically possible to do. And I think a DDT, when it's done right, same thing. It should at least change the momentum slash mood or complexion of an entire match other than just being a, uh, you know, like a bridge to get to something else should be a featured move in any match that it's used in both of those moves. I recently hung out with, uh, Jim Ross, as you know, and, and he has a new pet peeve. Uh, maybe it's not that new, but he's annoyed at the overuse of the thigh slap. And I heard a few years ago, Fit Finley joked that this generation would have cauliflower thighs instead of cauliflower ears. Where are you on the leg slap? 
Well, I can assure you, Fit Finley never slapped his leg. If he's ever kicked you in the back, <clears throat> it will uh, adjust you from head to toe. It will probably have sparks coming out of your ears. Uh, anything that you can think of. Uh, and he would be a guy that would hate something like that. It's, you know, it's just a kick in the face. Everyone understands what a kick in the face is. You don't have to dress it up. You don't have to make it bigger than what it is. You don't have to make it crack. If the contact is, is there, if it's done properly, if it's sold properly, it's a standalone deal. Hey, the guy just got kicked in the face. Uh, that's just one of those things that has came along and cre crept into our business somehow. And it's not even done well in most cases. It's so see-through. Um, doesn't have a place in the business. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.